Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Alicia, if this is your first time here. If not, welcome back. Okay, so if you checked out my video last week, you saw that I reviewed a wig from Sensational's new Curls, Kinks, and Co. line, and that one was Boss Lady. Loved it. Um, so I picked out another one from the same collection. Um, however, I got color this time. And you guys know how I am. Like, every now and then I'll pop some color, but for the most time, I'm like a one one b girl. So I got color. And I'm excited about it. So let's get into the details. Alright, so this one, like I said, it is from Sensational's new line, Curls, Kinks, and Co. This is also a textured half wig. However, if you guys saw last week that I was able to basically wear it as a full wig and just kind of pull my edges out so you can't see it. Um, and then this one is called Rainmaker. This one's going to be a little bit longer. The texture's going to the texture's going to be the same, but the curl's going to be a little different. Um, same thing. It's for curl types 3B to 4C, so it kind of like covers everybody. Um, and yeah, I got this in a 4 F430. I'm excited but nervous at the same time. So while I'm talking to you guys, I'm going to go ahead and open it up so you guys can see it. Um, it's basically going to have the same details as the um, boss lady. Somebody did ask me in the other video, is it, um, sorry guys, I'm just opening it up. Is it heat safe? And my answer to that is I don't know. It does not have um, anywhere on the packaging where it is heat safe. Um, it's got hot water set, so maybe you can curl it and then dip it in hot water but as far as like actually applying like a heat like a flat iron or something um i would advise against it because they didn't specifically state that on the packaging so that's just something you want to you know look out for okay so this is the wig like i said this is um the f430 so it's kind of got like a 1b with some stripes of so highlights of um goldy brownish this is what it looks like fresh out of the box I'm kind of excited about it um, like I said before, my hair is straightened, but the last time I was able to pull out some of my edges and it blended just nicely, so I'm going to do the same thing now. And I need it to work because I'm leaving for the movies in a couple of hours. Um, so, same thing, we've got one very big comb in the front that I like. We've got one comb in the back, medium, well, it's bigger than your standard, but not as big as the one in the front. Um, we've got the blowout effect. I wish I could give you guys an up close. I wish you guys could see. It's very, um, somebody asked if I could closely relay it to um, any type of crochet hair. And if I could, it would be the ringlet wand curl. That's the closest texture that I can give you guys um, in regards to like how it matches up towards everything. So the ringlet wand curl, you guys do know that it has a little bit of a coarse, but it didn't, it's not like overly coarse. Your Marley hair, your Jamaican bounce hair, nothing that coarse, but it does give the effect of, like I said, maybe like a perm rod or a blowout perm rod effect um, for our natural hair. So that's what this is. And I haven't done anything to it, so let's, um, let me throw my wig cap on. And then we will um, throw it on and see what it looks like. All right, so this is what we're <laughs> this is what we're looking at, fresh out of the box. Um, it's a little bit. I don't know if that's a part or not. Um, so we are. We I am going to have to bring some of my edges out. So. Um, you can't see clearly where the wig is starting, but I just kind of wanted to see what it looks like. I want to give you guys, I'm trying to give you guys as much information as possible because I do realize that as with most people on social media or YouTube that you're watching, you're watching it to determine whether or not you like it to be able to buy it. So I want to give you guys all the information that I possibly can so that you can determine whether or not you want to buy it. So um, really quick, this is just me just putting it on. This came fresh out of the package. I haven't done anything to it. I haven't taken my edges out or anything. This is just what it looks like. Once again, this is the F430. So it is a little longer than the Boss Lady. This one hits right a little bit below the shoulders. 
really nice color I love the color detail it does give this gives the illusion of um, like a blowout and then a flexi rod so the curls here are a little tighter than in the boss lady the okay so let me give you guys a quick 360 of this in its raw form we have the front side back side and the front so this is what it looks like I love the color I was a little hesitant about the color and I guess my only other hesitation is that I hope once I do take my edges out that you can't clearly tell because my hair is more like a two I hope you can't clearly tell where my hair stops and then this hair starts now my hair is straightened so this might be one of those where I will probably need to have my hair in a blowout form instead of a true bone out bone straight so we'll see um let me go ahead i don't know if i'm gonna do anything too, yes i do let me go ahead and finger comb it um i don't want to get it too too big because i have a feeling that, that this wig is going to get a lot bigger as i wear it as with most synthetic wigs so if you get a synthetic wig and you first put it on and you're like oh my god this wig is flat just leave it out in this element that's why a lot of times people buy they go to the natural hair stores and they buy wigs they're just like oh man this wig has a lot of volume and then you get home and you try it on and it's just like flat as a pancake when you take it out and you're wondering why of course you know those wigs at the natural hair store they've been on that mannequin for months and hell probably even years and they've had people like you and people like me touching it and feeling it and trying it on so it's it's been more exposed so of course it's going to be a little bit more ooh, okay it's going to be a little bit more uh voluminous than if it's been sitting in packaging for years or months so just fyi if you want it bigger expose it to the elements but one thing that drew me to these wigs is that I'm able to get this volume on day one do you guys see just by like simply combing that out I haven't done anything else to it except for using my little fingers to comb it out and look how much volume that I have on especially on this side I kind of I'm kind of like a side part girl I never do center parts am I the only one I never do center parts even with my natural hair I never do a center part anyway okay so this is what it looks like I'm not gonna give it anything any bigger than that because I know it's going to get bigger as I wear it and I'm gonna need this thing to be around for at least a year at least okay this <laughs> yes Jesus okay so this is what it looks like after I finger combed it I was hesitant on the color but this color looks amazing um so yeah, let me try to pull out some of my leave out because you can clearly tell, like, there's no, nothing. I might be able to like wear a band, which is, if my leave out don't, does not work, I will put a band on this and I will go to the movies because I love this hair, <laughs> love this hair. So I might band it or I might put a hat on. Or Anyway, let me see if this leave out is going to work. If not, I'm going to have to come up with a different uh a different method of wearing this wig out today. Let me try. I did the best that I can I don't know I kind of 
you can maybe if you like get all the way up close here you can clearly tell where there's a wig and where there's not but like back here but like back here where most people should be because you know give me my personal space you can't really tell um so i think i'm gonna go out like this i'm gonna grab a hat just in case but i think this is fine um so like i said you can if my hair was blow dried, you definitely wouldn't be able to tell the difference. But because it's blow dried and it's flat iron, so it's like bone straight up close in my personal space, you can clearly see. But nobody should be in my personal space but me and my husband. So from a distance, it's fine. <laughs> from like, I don't know, how far is this camera? From like arm's length, arm's distance. Leave me alone. <laughs> So yeah, I love this wig. I love the color. I was a little cautious for the color, but I love it. I love the volume. Um, now, I don't know if I might actually frame it to my face because this is a technically a half wig. I'm wearing it as a full one. So maybe like right here, I might cut this a little shorter. But then if I cut it, then I'd have to curl this in. And since I can't do a flat iron, I have to put it in a hot rod hot set and that's just, that's just too much. So I'm gonna leave this wig as is. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna do any cutting. This is the way it looks. Like I said, it comes to, see that's the end of my necklace. This is the brassiere area. So it's like a little bit past the shoulder length. Very doable for, you know, the, maybe it's basically a medium length. Love it, love it, love it. Um, let me give you guys a 360 with it being like fully finger combed out. So this is the front. This is the side, this is the back, the side, and then the front. All right, so I am going to link exactly where I got the wig. I did hear a lot of you guys saying, especially the last couple of wigs that I have reviewed, that they have sold out on that website. Can I get it anywhere else? You are welcome to get it anywhere else. However, the website that I link it to is the cheapest. So if it's sold out, then there's a reason why, because that's the cheapest place you're going to be able to find it. Um, so shop early, like now, go go now because all I'm going to tell you to do is subscribe so you can skip that part if you already have go now and check the wig out and, and get it <laughs> don't forget to check out all my other videos guys like comment and subscribe and I will catch you guys next week bye